Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2010 martial arts sequel, Undisputed 3 Redemption. The film is directed by Isaac Florentine and it stars Scott Atkins as Boyka, Michael Shannon Jenkins and Mark Evenier. Right, okay, this is the third in the Undisputed series of films. Um, this time round, after his defeat at the end of Undisputed 2, Scott Jennings, uh, sorry, Scott Atkins Boyka um, has basically a really dodgy knee now. He's in a prison, he's, you know, he's let himself go. Um, however, he is given a second chance to enter a fighting tournament. Um, he has to prove himself, uh, get his knee back to the best it can be. Um, and him and a load of other of the most skilled fighters in the prisons all over the world are shipped to uh, a prison in Russia to essentially enter a prison tournament to see who is the best and strongest fighter out there. Um, as you could imagine, the decks are stacked against him, but Boyka is determined to be victorious. Right, what are my thoughts on Undisputed 3 Redemption? Well, <laughs> you may not remember this, but a good couple of years ago now, I reviewed Undisputed and Undisputed 2 on this channel. Um, and I said I was going to review the others Undisputed movies, and I never got around to watching the third and the fourth one at that time. Um... I, I, I do this quite a lot of the channel. I say, right, I'm going to review these films and then I might do two or three of them and then I forget the rest or I can't be bothered or I lose interest or whatever. Uh, it's just the way it goes. But I'm determined this year, there's two top ten lists I want to do this year. I mean, I'm going to do more than that, obviously. But there's two top ten lists that I definitely want to do this year that I want to really focus on. And that's a Chuck Norris top ten list and a Scott Atkins top ten list. And I've been saying this for ages, a couple of years for both of them, I would say. Um, but I just want to keep watching more in their filmography so that it's the most... Um, informed top 10 list that I can do give you in, in regards of what I think are their best films. Um, so I was actually quite looking forward to this because I know that Boyka is a personal favourite of Scott Atkins in regards to characters. Um, I know from like watching clips and all that kind of stuff, he's he, he really enjoys playing Boyka and he likes this film in particular. <clears throat> And he's, I think I saw an interview with him recently where he's, he's looking to try and bring Biker back, which would be fabulous. Um, and he is just so good at this character. Um, and Biker really is an anti-hero. Um, obviously, he was the villain in the second film, but there was still an air of, honorability about his character even in that film even in the second one um and you get more of that in this you know you, you get this real hard-edged badass uh biker for the majority of this film but you also see him like you, you do see that other side of him as well where he's you know he's, he, he does have that um lightness in him and you do see him display that a few times in this film um but in regards to the story, well, th there is very little here on display. This is a martial arts tournament film, basically. It's like many others that we've seen before. Um, as martial arts films go, you know, I'm generally on board with any kind of martial arts tournament film, you know, Blood Sport, Enter the Dragon, all that kind of stuff. If it's a martial arts tournament or a fighting tournament, I'm all in. I really like that sort of stuff because it means you're going to get loads and loads of different fighting styles and, you know, and that's no different in this film. You get, you know, you get the Brazilian martial arts, you know, there's so many different fighting styles in this film. It's a, it's a real joy to watch and this fighting choreography here is staggeringly good i mean most scott atkins films where he is like displaying his martial arts on you know full display um especially if he's involved in the fight choreography i'm not actually sure if he was involved in the fight choreography for this film but i'd be surprised if he wasn't he certainly is these days because he can kind of call the shots on many of his films now um just mind-blowingly good mind-blowingly good 
Um, but what I like here is they don't just give Scott Atkins all the best scenes to show off in. Everybody really gets their moment to shine in this film, and there's some absolutely um, wonderful fights in this film and fight scenes. Um, and the athleticism on display here is on another level. It really is. And edge of the seat stuff doesn't do it justice in regards to the fights. But they've also got this other kind of story going on where he's building uh, almost like a trusting relationship with one of the fighters stroke inmates, the American entry, um, Turbo, he's called, who, who's a boxer, really. Very cocky and arrogant at the beginning, and you kind of feel like he's going to be uh, the one to beat, and it's going to be like a real rival with him and Biker, and that's certainly how it looks in early in early doors, but they kind of develop this trusting relationship as the film goes on. Um, and it works really well in the film too, and it's it's another way to get, you know, I'll show a lighter side of Biker. Um, and what they do is, it, I mean, you know, it's a corrupt fighting ring really, so the fights are not rigged, but the the decks are stacked against the fighters you know and um so they kind of make the fighters go out and um work out and you know break stone during the day so they do they have to do hard labor um and it's if they lose a fight you know they think they're just going to get sent back to their prison wherever they are based in the world but in actual fact if you lose one of these fights you lose your life basically you, you go in front of a firing squad that obviously nobody knows about so there's a lot at stake in these fights um and it's it does a little bit of that you know in AWOL with van damme where um you know he, f he thinks like the person that he's sponsoring him or his manager whatever you want to call him is has betrayed him and bet against him and um yeah <laughs> Great stuff. Uh, I must admit, I was a real fan of this. I think this is definitely one of Scott Atkins' best performances, not only as Biker, because his, his Russian accent is flawless. Um, it, it's really good, actually. And that's one thing I think Scott Atkins is, I don't think he gets enough credit for, is actually quite a fine actor. Um, he's great at accents, and if you see him like doing real acting in movies, he's pretty damn good. It's it's a crying shame he's never actually broke through into the mainstream because he so deserves to. Um, uh, he's time's kind of running out for him now, I suppose, but I really do hope he gets his time to shine. And he every time he has been allowed to kind of step up and shine in big movies like John Wick, you know, Chapter Four, things like that, he's always done brilliantly well. Uh, so yeah, I really love this one. This is easily one of his top performances, both acting wise and athletic wise in regards to the martial arts on display. And I had a real ball with this one. So I'm really looking forward to reviewing, uh, I think there's only four undisputed films. Uh, so there's one more film with Biker. Um, so I will be giving that a watch and I'm quite looking forward to checking that one out now. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed checking out this review. I will of course be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.